Hey guys, Blamager here, and we're back with more Let's Play Metroid Other M. In the last episode, we got to the bottle ship and met up with Adam and his crew. In this episode, we're going to go turn on the power, as we have been instructed to do. And we also have the ability to lay bombs now. So that means now we can actually pick up a few of the uh, power-ups laying about. And... is it this terminal here? No, it's not. Maybe it's this one? I do not remember where this is. Oh, wait, now I remember. Gotta go up here and get our first energy tank. And in this room, we can turn on the power. And then we have a little mini fight thing. And I may have a little trouble since I am at an angle to my sensor bar. Just gotta shoot three missiles at the hives and they will be done for. Now we can turn on the power. Simple enough. But that's not all I want to do. So in the last episode I said power-ups would be something that I'm not really stressing. But if it's something that I just happen to remember then I'll go ahead and get it. And there's actually two power-ups here that I do know about that I'm going to go ahead and get. One of me had to shoot a missile at that grate to get to. And we go a long way over here for a missile tank. And then that's an area we can't go to. And now we can. I don't know if there's any reason for me to go here, though. Oh. I think it just takes me back. But there was something else that I need to get as well. I have gone way back, haven't I? Yes, I have. Yeah, sometimes you may encounter the doors not opening because they haven't loaded the room or whatever. Uh, you saw that a little bit earlier if you were paying attention. And down here we can bomb this and get ourselves another missile tank and have those guys play ping pong with us and back up we go so yeah as far as the ones that I don't remember about I'm not gonna worry about them at least not now. I mean, this is going to be a 100% playthrough, but... For the ones that I don't remember, I'm just going to wait until post-game to get them. Because honestly, I can beat this game with no power-ups. With a little trouble, aside from one or two of the bosses.
Alright, now that the power's back on, I can let that room load. And the bridge is sticking out from underneath us. These guys you can kill really quick just by doing the overblast. That's what I recommend because if you don't kill them with overblast, it will take like forever to kill them. And there is a power up here. Another missile tank. Just moving right along with these missile tanks. Gotta shoot that hatch. And then we can head back up. Now I should be able to activate this, which should bring the bridge back up. And now the elevator works in here. And you actually have to take it because the floor moved up. And we should be able to activate this computer terminal here to raise those back up. I don't know why they lowered. I'm pretty sure that there's a power up on one of these floors. I'm not entirely sure which one. It's probably this one because I see a grate here. Yep, another missile tank. Alrighty, and over here, I don't remember how to get in here. Is there some trick I'm forgetting? Probably. Probably. Oh, I can't get in there yet. Okay. Fair enough. But there's a power up in there that we should remember for later. All right, I got it. And there's another power up down here. I think. Yes. A missile tank. Man, we only in episode two and we've already gotten five missile tanks. Samus, go through the hatch on your right and head towards sector one. Lyle went ahead to secure a route to a facility of interest. I'll leave you to survey sector one. Alright, so now we get to head to the main elevator. So remember this door right here. It becomes important much, much later in the game. And you'll see those all throughout the uh, bottle ship. I'm not sure if I can get up there yet. But I know there's something up there. <laughs> it does not want to let me up there. Pretty sure you can get up there. I just. I mean, there's no space jump in this game, so it's not like I need a double jump. I can't even get up in that one. Oh, because there's a grate there.
It's like it's catching, but then... Oh! I have something to destroy! Normal missile, I can do that. No, now I gotta get back up there again. <laughs> there we go. All that for a missile tank. Oh well, I knew it was up there. And now we enter the main area. And there was a power up up top, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. Uh, one of the reasons that seasoned Metroid fans dislike this game is that you really can't sequence break it. Like, every Metroid game up to this point, well, except for Fusion, has been heavily sequence breakable. And in this game, I only know of two sequence breaks, but they're both completely pointless because they bypass an ability that you will eventually need for an area that there is no sequence break for, so... Yeah, that's one thing that seasoned Metroid fans are not happy with about this game. However, personally, I don't mind it. Because... I mean, it makes the game great as an entry-level Metroid. Like, I tried playing Metroid Prime before I played this. And... I probably got about halfway through the game. Uh, it was pretty frustrating. Because... There were a lot of times I just didn't know where to go. Or like, I knew where to go, I just didn't know how to get there. Like, I might have needed a power-up that I didn't have and didn't know where it was, or... There's like a... a special way to get there that I don't know about. there were more. I just thought they were at the other side of the room. There was one at the other side. What do you know? And here we are in the main elevator. Honestly, I'm not really sure why they have this area like this, because all of the sectors are uh, interconnected, and you really can't pick and choose where you want to go. You kind of have to go where the game wants you to go. And there's nothing over here. Not that I remember, anyway. And I think we will go ahead and end things off at this navigation booth. This has been Let's Play Metroid Other M. I am Blymuncher, and I will see you guys later.